Hello, hello, hello. So, this isn't going to be a comprehensive tutorial about Tiled. We're going to go pretty fast and I might skim over just a lot of things. So if you're confused or you want to learn more about Tiled, the channel Game From Scratch has a good Tiled tutorial series, which I will link in the description. But anyways, moving on. So these two images are the tile sets we're going to use and we're going to drag them into our image folder and that is under disk slash assets slash image. All right, so I'm going to presume that you have tiled installed. We're going to open it up, click new map, and then all the default settings are fine. If you want to change the width and height, go ahead. We're going to save it as TMX for now, and you'll see why. You can export it later, so don't worry. I'm just going to replace the one I already have. And this is it, so welcome to tiled. And we're going to add a new tile set first. So click new tile set. It's going to be based off an image. So we're going to click our terrain atlas from before. Make sure embedded in map is ticked on or else it won't work in freezer. And we're going to do the same for the items tile set. And again, make sure embedded in map is on or else it won't work. And now we can start painting tiles. All right, so we're going to draw a tree stump and we're going to set it right there. And as you can see, the background is transparent, and this is because it needs to be on top of something. So in the game, it's going to show up as black, and this is where layers come in. So we're going to add a new layer, and now we have two layers, and we're going to rest it on top of grass. So we'll put grass on the bottom layer, and then we're going to put the stump on top of the grass layer. You can also rename the layer names, so we're going to rename them bot and top so that it makes more sense. And keep in mind that you will have to remember the names because they have to match up in phaser. And so the same with the tile set names. So let's make the bottom background layer really, really fast. So we're going to hold control and then we're going to look for all the tiles related to green. So like the grass and the flowers that don't have a transparent background. When we're done, we can click the paint bucket tool and then the dice icon and it will randomize the background for us with the tiles that we select. All right, so on to collisions. So usually you want like the bottom half of this tree to be collidable and you want the top half so the player walks under it. So what we're going to do is we're going to click edit tile set and we're going to add a property that is called collides and it's going to be a boolean that will be ticked to true. All right, so we're going to double check if these two do have the collides property, and they sure do. So we're going to start pasting them into the layer, and we're going to paste them into the layer. Okay, I forgot to turn off the dice and the paint bucket tool. So we're going to go back to the stamp tool and paste it in the layer, and we pasted it in, in the wrong layer. And this is a very common problem. Like you draw everything only to realize that it's on the wrong layer, and I've been complaining to the tiled UI to make it so that we can bind certain tiles to only work, to only be placed on a specific layer. But I guess that's not his priority right now. So how to mitigate this, we're gonna go to view and we're gonna click highlight current layer. And what this will do is that it's gonna highlight the current layer. So every layer that's not in focus will be darkened. So we're on the top layer. And as you can see, the bot layer is more grayed out and we can finally paste our tree in the right layer. And this isn't the only way to do collisions, so we're going to drag this kind of pit looking thing and we're going to place it right over there and it's on the top layer, right? Yeah, okay it is. And what we're going to do is we can open it up in Notepad, so open up the TMX and we can see the numbers associated with the tile index. So every tile has a number and Okay, we didn't save it yet, so we're going to save it first. Then we're going to reopen it up in Notepad. So, as you can see, this is all the data associated with the TMX file. And this bottom half belongs to the top layer. And this top half belongs to the bottom layer. And all the tiles do have a number associated with them. So this over there, this pit, is associated with these numbers. And we're going to have to remember those in phaser if we want to set collision on them. So that's another way of doing collisions. All 
So let's add some custom properties on these mushrooms. We're going to place a few down right now. We're going to go to edit tile set and we're going to go add a property called MSG. And the message is going to be a string and it's going to say looks delicious. And if we go back to our tile map, we can see that these both do have the properties. And that's a problem. If we go open up the tile map in Notepad, there's only one instance of the message. So all mushrooms are going to have looks delicious. And that's a problem if we want them to differ. This is where object layers come in. And we can create a new object layer, name it items, and we will place a mushroom down. But I want it to snap to grid, so I'm going to enable snap to grid. You don't have to do this, by the way. I just want it to snap to the grid. All right, so let's place one down. And we can, again, add our own custom properties. We're going to make a restore property that will restore like five health and we can create another one that will restore like 10 health and what's unique about these is that well they're unique they can vary in their value unlike with the tile property or the message of like looks delicious okay so when you're done we can go to file go to save as we're going to create a new folder in our dist assets called maps and we're going to save it as json in that folder so i've already created a map ahead of time and it's exactly what we just did the tree bottom has a collide property everything else really doesn't um, the rocks have a collide property so that's new our mushrooms have a message property the only difference is that the object layer is named pickup rather than items and that's about it so we're going to use this one instead for the code in phaser and the files are on github if you're curious 